afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Jay's recital. Um, thank you all for being here to celebrate this wonderful event. My family and I are extremely proud to see where my brother is today, and it's truly been an amazing journey for all of us. Tonight, I have the pleasure of guiding you through an evening of unique lineups, spotlighting distinguished performers and artists who were all raised in North America. The first part of the program is a traditional South Indian classical or Carnatic concert, featuring singing by Kriti Bhatt, violin by Arun Ramamurthy, and Mridangam by my brother Jay. Kriti Bhatt, the Carnatic vocalist for tonight, is a professional Carnatic singer of the Lal Gudi tradition. Based in Houston, she has received worldwide recognition and numerous awards, including the Indian Raga Fellowship in 2013, the Cleveland Thyagaraja Aradna Concert Competition winner, the Carnatic Music Idol USA Season 3 winner, and the Best Vocalist by Sri Parthasarthi Swami Sabha in 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, Kriti Bhatt. Today's Carnatic violinist is Arun Ramamurthy. Arun Ramamurthy is a New York City-based violinist who is well known in Indian classical and world music scenes. He has performed on prestigious stages such as Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, and Kennedy Center. Arun curates the critically acclaimed series, Carnatic Sundays, at the popular Cornelia Street Cafe jazz venue in New York City. Let's welcome Arun Ramamurthy. Now I am very happy to invite my brother, Jay Apaji, to the stage. Kriti, Arun, and Jay will perform compositions set to timeless ragas, or melodic scales, arranged in a variety of thalas, or rhythmic meters. Together, they will highlight the composed as well as improvised aspects of a professional Carnatic concert. The musicians will begin with the masterpiece in Raga Bhairavi. Originally composed in the 14-beat meter called Atatala, today it will be specially presented in two versions of Aditala. The first half will be in Chatushranade, or fours, and the second half will be in Tishranade, or threes. Following the Varnam will be three traditional Kritis, or compositions, in ragas Arabi, Urmika, and Bahudari, and Thalas Khandachapu, Aditala, and Aditala Tishragati. Before we begin, I would like to remind you to please turn off any device that can be turned off. And now, without further ado, let's enjoy Jay's recital.
Mm-hmm. 
we first heard a unique presentation of the popular Viri Bhoni Varnam by the 19th century composer Sri Pachi Miriam Adi Appaya. The preceding piece was Narasimha Mamava, composed in the 19th century by King Swati Tirunal in Raga Arabi, Khanda Chaputala, and the Sanskrit language. Following that was Antanivina, composed again in the 19th century by Sri Pallavi Sheshayar in the rare Raga Urmika, set to Aditala Tishragati. The last composition we heard was Brova Barama in the Raga Bahudari Aditala by one of the great Trinity composers in Carnatic music, Sri Tyagaraja. Brova Barama and Antanivina are both in the language Telugu. Now the artist will present the main piece of the concert, a ragam tanam pallavi, in the seven beat meter called Mishra Chapu. Specially set to two ragas, Natakurunji and Shanmukha Priya, this genre is the hallmark of a professional Carnatic concert. It features every aspect of Carnatic improvisation to a single line of lyrics. Today's ragam tanam pallavi is in the Tamil language and will also uniquely feature the mridangam with the tanam. This rhythmic tanam style is characteristic of the Navaratri festival in Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala, a nine-day Indian festival of triumph. The ragam tanam pallavi will culminate in a tani avartanam, or improvised mridangam solo by Jay. We hope you enjoy this ragam tanam pallavi and get immersed in the music.
The next piece is a soulful abhang, 
a Marathi style from Western India, composed in the 1300s by Sant Nam Dev, in Raga Mishra Shubhapantubarali and Thala Eka. The final piece is a Tillana, an energetic and rhythmic genre from the Indian classical dance tradition by eminent 20th and 21st century violinist and composer Lal Gurishri Jayaraman in Raga Sindhu Bhairavi and Tala Adi. This piece showcases exciting vocalized jatis or rhythmic patterns from the Murdangam repertoire. Kriti, Arun, and Jay presenting an Abhang and a Tillana. Jai Lakshmi Maa Zee Ta Swaha 
There will now be a change of pace, so to speak, as Jay and our other distinguished artists 
present cross-cultural collaborative pieces. Matras, the first piece of the second part, was composed by Dr. Keith Murphy for the Mridangam and the String Orchestra. Matras was initially written for and premiered by Jay's teacher, Dr. Rohan Krishnamurthy. Today, Jay will be playing along with the String Quintet featuring Florence Wang and Mike Hay on violin, Mark Lanson on viola, John Landfeld on cello, and Daniel Nix on bass. Florence Wang is a graduate from the Southern Methodist University on a full artist scholarship studying under Ms. Chi Yu. She has participated as a soloist in numerous music festivals and master classes, and she was the winner of the 2010 SMU Concerto Competition. Mike Hay is a former violin teacher from the Ukraine Philharmonic. He is a recent graduate of SMU, and he was studying under Mr. Emmanuel Borok. Mark Lanson is a violinist, violist, composer, and founder and director of Open Classical. A graduate of the Eastman School of Music, he's performed worldwide as a member of the Rochester Philharmonic, the New American Chamber Orchestra, and La Orquesta de Granada in Spain. John Lanfeld holds a Bachelor of Music degree and cello performance from the Eastman School of Music. Mr. Lanfeld has been sought after as an orchestral cellist, He's performed as a soloist with the National Repertoire Orchestra, the Central Wisconsin Symphony, and the Irving Symphony Orchestra, and many more. Daniel Nix, while under the mentorship of soloist Gary Carr, he received a Bachelor of Music from the University of Victoria. Now, as a professional soloist and chamber musician, he tours North America and Europe, most recently performing in Carnegie Hall. Mathras organically combines the melodic and rhythmic components of Carnatic music with the harmonies of Western classical music. The climax of this piece is a cadenza, a free and improvised Mridangam solo by Jay. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Jay and Mark will perform the Murdungam violin duet, Migration II, composed by Dr. Elizabeth Start. This piece spotlights the violin's percussive elements with gentle taps, plucks, and stomping. In Migration II, the violin and Murdungam trade improvised measures to create a tightly knit musical texture.
The following item is an arrangement of Shades of Three, an award-winning percussion duet composed by Jay's teacher. Today, Jay will showcase Shades of Three with renowned hand drummer and percussionist Jamal Mohammed. Jamal is an acclaimed Doombeck artist who's performed in prestigious venues worldwide with Sting, Mark O'Connor, Giovanni Hidalgo, and many others. He serves on the faculty at Southern Methodist University. In 2010, Toka Percussion introduced the Jamal Doombeck, a signature drum that he designed. This adaptation of Shades of Three for the Mridangam and the Doombeck is a novel effort to bridge the gap between complexities of South Indian percussion and other percussive traditions. Intricate Indian rhythmic patterns are notated for both percussionists, while improvised sections invite the artists to express their creativity on their respective instruments.
final piece tonight is a new composition by Jay and tap dancer Caitlin Harris. Caitlin is an award-winning performer and teacher of tap dance. She has been twice nominated as Best Dancer by the Austin Critics Table Awards. She served in the faculty for Third Coast Rhythm Project and Next Step Dance Performing Arts Center. She's also the founder and creative director of nonprofit organization Rhythmic Souls. The item is titled Counterpoint, after the technical tap concept of performing simultaneous and complementary rhythms. Jay and Caitlin explore the similarities of tap and murdangam repertoires, bringing the two different art forms into a compelling harmony. Jay was honored to receive the Texas Commission on the Arts Young Master's Grant to develop this new collaboration. Jay and Caitlin performing Counterpoint.
ಅಲ್ಲ 